So let me just, uh, I'm going to assume that you don't know much about ECA. So I will try to explain some basic facts about it. It's a magnet school, meaning that it's a school you can't just go and attend to. There are, there's a selection process and people are attracted to this school. So that's why it's like a magnet, it uh, draws people into it. It's not a private school. I want to emphasize that because a lot of people think that it's a private school, so you don't pay any money. If you go to BCA, you're not paying any money. It's the county school. It's not a, it's not the state school. It's not any town school, but it's the Bergen County school. And it's called Bergen County Academies. Why is it called Bergen County Academies? Uh, because we have seven academies. It's like majors. When you go to a college, you know, you major in a different field. So we have seven different fields and these are, uh, a science academy, I mean, these are not the official names. For example, science is called AAST, Advancement of Science and Technology, or Academy for the Advancement of Science and Technology. So I'm just going to call it in short science. Then we have the second one, uh, engineering. We have medical, business and finance, computer science, VPA, or visual and performing arts, and culinary and hospitality, culinary, like cooking stuff. So these are like seven different schools within the school, but uh, physically they are all uh, in the same building. Everyone is in the same building. Everyone is friends with each other. It's just their curriculum is like 20, 25% different and it's more focused on this. For example, if you're in science academy, you take more of physics and chemistry classes. So we are, uh, a district at the end and the district is called Bergen County Technical Schools District. So there are four schools within this district. A district meaning, for example, uh, like a town. Uh, tell me a large town like Clifton. For example, Clifton might have two or three high schools. So Bergen County Schools Technical School District has four high schools. BCA, Bergen County Academies is the one I'm talking about. We have also a high school in Teterboro, another one in Paramus, and a newly formed high school, uh, Applied Tech High School. These are all different schools. So we don't have, for example, I've been at BCA for a number of years. Uh, actually, uh, let me tell you that I've been at BCA for eight years now. Before that, I was a, a physics professor at Ramapo College. So I have a PhD in physics, like many other teachers in our school. Uh, I don't know anything. I don't know much about Teterboro or Paramus or Applied, Applied Tech, uh, but Teterboro is also a very good school. So the, the admission process, once you apply to BCA, you can also apply to the high school in Teterboro. And if you can't get accepted to BCA, you can go to Teterboro. So BCA is a little more well-known, it's more popular. So I, again, I'm going to be talking about BCA, Bergen County Academies, but, uh, most of what I say will probably apply to the high school at Teterboro. That's also a very good high school. Uh, the selection process, uh, as I said, it's not a regular high school, so you have to apply. That, and all information about the application process is in the website, bergen.org, bergen.org. So it basically cons uh, consists of uh, an entrance exam. It's like uh, SATs, but it's not exactly like that. Of course, it's for eighth graders. There's an entrance exam, which is heavily towards math. Then uh, they look at the middle school grades, especially seventh and eighth grade scores. Then you get recommendation letters from your middle school teachers. And finally, there are interviews. The interviews are to eliminate once more. Usually, for example, uh, if we're taking two 50 students, 250 students in a year, we will, I mean, the admission committee will be accepting initially 500 students. So it's twice the actual number. And through the interviews, half of them are eliminated. The interviews are done by teachers. Uh, and we uh, give them scores and then the committee decides. The selection process or the admission process is very complicated. It's not like uh, if you get the best score you get in or 
so it depends on your skills. It depends on which academy you apply to. It depends on which town you are from. For example, there is a legal consideration here. You, we cannot take 20 students from Richwood because uh, the county or the state has some limitations on all of these effects. So if you are from a town that is not very uh, good in terms of its schools or in terms of its uh, like social uh, place, then uh, you have a high chance of getting it. For example, again, Richwood is well known with its very good schools and very good students. But if you are, you may be number 20 in Richwood, but you may be number one in Lodi, and number 20 in Richwood is better than number one in Lodi, but number 20 in Richwood will not be able to get it because there's a limit. These, uh, there's a lot of research that, when I say research, it's scientific research, but it could, uh, of course, if you want to do scientific research, you have to have facilities, you have to have the equipment. Of course, for that, you need money. And uh, BCA is a pretty rich school, meaning it's getting a lot of funding from uh, a lot of places like federal, for example, from the federal government, each year we get $250,000 just for research. When I first joined the school like eight years ago, the principal told me, I'm going to give you $50,000, buy whatever you want and start your own research. This is something you don't get in uh, normal, even in normal colleges. They don't give you this in your first year. So we have, uh, what do we have? We have stem cell research. I mean, uh, these are all technical terms. Let me bring my red light here. We have stem cell research, cancer research. These are very big because uh, these take a lot of money. And for example, the head of cancer research, the teacher who heads the cancer research lab or stem cell research lab is an associate professor from, from Columbia University. He, he used to be that, but like 15 years ago, he joined PCA. Now he's just doing research. There's a nanotech lab. He's uh, a Korean PhD. Uh, optics physics lab, I run this lab. I'm doing this. There, is, there are a lot of labs. There's also math research. So th these are like college level research. Okay, we have elective courses. There are a lot of electives. Uh, I would say there are probably 50 electives and you can choose any one of these. Of course, it has to fit your uh, schedule. I'm just giving you a few examples here so that you can see the variety of these uh, elective courses. For example, quantum mechanics is an elective that I was offering, not this year because of the pandemic and everything, but when I'm teaching quantum mechanics, I'm teaching the same, almost the same quantum mechanics I, that I used to teach in college. So it's like a college level course. It's history of teaching. It's just to give you an idea of what varieties you have. So we can have all different kinds of electives. So that's something very interesting. We have Wednesday's clubs, Wednesday clubs. There are about a hundred clubs. Every Wednesday, the last hour is club time. Actually, Wednesdays are very uh, different. We don't have classes on Wednesdays. Most of the classes are uh, meeting days other than Wednesdays. So Wednesdays are uh, reserved for classes and club, I'm sorry, projects, clubs, and other things. Uh, if you're, that's your I mean, only, I would like to underline the word only. If your only goal is to get into a good college, BCA might not be the right choice for you. Why? Uh, well, first of all, by the way, uh, a lot of our students go to Ivy Leagues. For example, this year, which was unusual, like five or six students got into MIT by early decision. Just MIT. I mean, overall, like 30 students go into Ivy Leagues. So it's very typical, like at least 20. We, we send every, every year, we send like about 10 students to Princeton. Did I say that because of this? This is a school. I mean, this is also related to an answer that our principal gave to a parent. In a meeting, our principal said, today a parent asked me this question. In his words, uh, a parent asked him, how many of your students go to Harvard? And uh, our principal said, 
we don't keep track of how many go to Harvard or MIT, and we are not very much interested in that. If you're if you want your child, if you're obsessed with your child going to an Ivy League, you might want to stay in your hometown. That's what the principal said. Um, hello. Uh, my name is Ferit, and as uh, Mr. Dor said, I'm a freshman in Bergen County Academies. Uh, I'm in the Academy of Business and Finance. And today my goal is to summarize the admissions process uh, for BCA in Hackensack and BCTHS in Teterboro. Um, also like all of the information that I'm going to be talking about is all available in the, in the official BCTS websites and the process is explained in much greater detail there. So you could always um, hop on Google and find out about a lot more things if you have questions that we can't answer. So like I said, um, there, I'm gonna, primarily I'm gonna be talking about the two schools, uh, Bergen County Academies and Bergen County Technical High School. Um, these two are the most prestigious as far as I know. And um, like Mr. Doar said, uh, BCA is the number one best public high school in the US right now. And I believe um, Teterboro is actually the 40th best, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. They're both really prestigious schools and um, they're the nation's best. Um, you, this was talked about a little bit, but I'm gonna talk about it a bit more. When you apply to BCA, you have the choice of applying to seven academies and Really, you should be applying to whichever one you are genuinely interested in. Uh, you have core classes related to whichever academy you choose, and you go to these classes daily. So you should take your academy choice seriously. And yeah, it should just be something that genuinely interests you. And also, uh, you should keep in mind that your academy cannot be changed later on. So you should think about it. And whichever one seems that it will be the most fun for you, whichever one will seem it's the best opportunity for you, you should pick that one. Also, um, Bergen County Technical High School has uh, their own academies that are called programs, I believe. And some of these are similar, but there's like a few different ones like um, law and also aerospace engineering. But yeah, there's also a few similar ones like computer science and also um, colonology. So, you will be applying to BCTS the first few months when you enter eighth grade. You should do it as soon as possible. But when you're applying, you're going to be asked for a few different um, documents like your middle school attendance and grades, um, the, gra the report card for the first marking period of eighth grade, um, standardized test scores in reading and math, uh, teacher recommendations. I believe it was three for English, math, and science, and also the application essay. Um, you don't have to submit different applications uh, for the different schools, but when you first start your admissions process, you get asked what campuses and what, and what academies slash programs you're applying for. So you should uh, also one more thing, uh, when you're applying, you have to be living in Bergen County, like Mr. Dora said, that's, uh, that's a must. So yeah, in the beginning of January, uh, the year when you're in the eighth grade, you'll take one admission test that includes two parts, a math portion and an English portion that are both completed on the same day. Uh, the math portion includes 40 questions in a time span of 60 minutes and the English portion requires you to read a short story or an excerpt from a book and answer a prompt in a five paragraph essay. You have 45 minutes for the English test. And also a thing to note, bathroom breaks are not allowed but you're given a little break between the two tests. And also um, for Bergen County Academies, you get, uh, you have to go through an interview process, uh, which isn't the case for Bergen County Technical High School, which is why uh, BCA is a bit harder to get into. Um, a few weeks after you take the test, you get a letter from BCA that either declines your application or invites you for an interview. And the, like I said, the interview process is only for BCA and uh, you get accepted into Bergen Tech if you pass the threshold for the admissions test. And also, um, if you're invited for a BCA interview, you just have to remember that you are intellectually capable to go to BCA and the interviewers, which are teachers, 
they don't really look for how capable you are, but more like your personality and your passion for the school. And um, like they look for, they will look for answers that show you have a social and engaging personality. But I think, like I said, the biggest factor is the student's passion and enthusiasm to attend BCA. You, you have to show the interviews that you have a real passion to have a brighter future through BCA and that you're not being forced to come to the school by your parents. You have to show the interviewers how BCA is a huge opportunity that you want to take advantage of. And like on the slides, you can see these are some of the questions that you get asked during the interview. The top uh, common interview questions are questions that you will almost certainly be asked, like one or two. Um, but the ones on the bottom are surprise questions that I like to call them. Uh, they're really random. Like I was asked, what clubs would you want to attend in BCA? So these are the questions that you you really can't prepare for. And also they ask questions according to what ac academy you choose. And I was asked, um, I remember it clearly, tell me about a recent major event in the business world. And these are just the questions that will, um, they'll, they'll try to surprise you, but you should try to keep your cool and answer them in like a timely manner. And that's basically it. I also have the links here. I could, um, I could share the links later maybe these like like i said all of this information there are like 40 page pdfs explaining everything answering every question this was just a really quick summary and you can find all this on google uh hi my name is tar tozan uh, i'm currently a junior at bergen county technical high school in the teterboro campus and uh, i'm gonna talk about like life on campus and the academics in campus but first of all before i start i just want to say please take everything I say with a grain of salt. It's coming from my point of view. So there's obviously gonna be a bit of bias. And I only know about the Teterboro campus. So I, I really don't know about BCA. But first, um, if you come from, I came, like I applied from a private school and then went to Bergen Tech. So I really didn't know anyone at the school. And unless you come from like a district public middle school, when you go there, you might not know anyone. And at first it might seem awkward because people usually have their own friend groups. If they applied with their friends from the same district and they got in, they probably already know each other. At first it might seem awkward, but try to talk to as many people as you can. And uh, like Faith said, there's gonna be certain programs. We call them majors at the school. And the people within your major, you're gonna have classes with them every single day. So you're gonna get to know them and they'll probably be your closest friends. So try to talk to them as much as possible. Of course, the first day of school is going to be really awkward. Nobody's going to want to talk to each other, but just try to start conversations. It'll make your life much easier. And so the first two years, like specifically freshman and sophomore year, it's like uh, Mr. Doro said, yeah, it's really friendly, open. Everyone likes to talk. Uh, everyone's open-minded. Everyone's like-minded. Everyone wants to do well. Everyone wants to be friends with everyone. But in my experience, especially during junior year, like uh, a competitive edge comes to everyone because college apps are getting closer. Everyone's competing. People start to ask, what did you get on this? What classes are you taking? Uh, how's physics going? How's AP physics going? How's AP calculus going? People start, these talks start going around and you can get intimidated, but just make sure you try your best and only focus on yourself. Uh, it doesn't matter if other people are doing better than you. It happens. You can't be the best at everything, but just try your best and eventually you'll get through it. And the most important thing is just make sure you're open-minded and you could talk to everyone. Like everyone's really nice. Uh, my sister also went to the school and when uh, she graduated uh, last year and she got accepted into Columbia university and now she's attending there this year. And uh, when she came into the school as a freshman, she was the only girl wearing a hijab. And everyone was really nice to her. She told me a story about on, on the first day of school, people came up to her and they were like, wow, that's really cool. Uh, how do you wear it? They started asking her questions. And she said that she felt really accepted. So social life is fine until junior year. Junior year, it could get a little bit competitive. But after junior year, after college apps are over, during senior year, yeah, you'll really enjoy your time at school as well. And now let's talk about academics. So 
during freshman year, uh, for freshman, sophomore, and junior year, everyone has required classes that they have to take. Uh, for example, freshman year, you're going to have to take intro to physics one. Uh, sophomore year, you're going to have to take chemistry. And uh, junior year, you're going to have to take biology one honors. And after your junior year, there's like a path that most students take. Um, oh wait, before I say that, I just want to say after you get accepted into the school, specifically for Bergen Tech, there's going to be like... Um, an exam that tests your skills in math and uh, math and history. And if you pass this test, uh, you could take a higher level of math during your freshman year, which could, well, this eventually leads to you being able to take uh, a class from Syracuse University during your senior year. And in history, uh, if you pass the test, you could take a AP class during your freshman year, AP Human Geography. If you don't pass the class, you're gonna take a class called Global Studies. A, it doesn't really matter. AP Human Geography isn't really an important AP. Most colleges don't give credit for it. So the application, uh, like the exam testing your skills doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, like I said, uh, every single year has its required classes. And after your freshman year, most students uh, take a course, like uh, they go on one certain path. Like for example, I decided to take AP Physics 2 in my sophomore year. Some people take AP Chemistry and then eventually they take uh, another AP chem, chem class in their junior year. I took uh, AP Physics 2 during my sophomore year, and now I'm taking AP Physics C. And yeah, you get to choose your own path. The guidance counselors are really flexible with that. Some people uh, focus on humanitarian classes like uh, AP, langu AP English Language and Composition or AP Literature. I I'm not a really uh, humanitarian folks person. I'm more like mathematics, so I'm, I like to take uh, AP Calculus BC and AP Physics C, but it's all up to you. Um, yeah, your your major classes are really enjoyable, but make sure that you choose a major that you will actually enjoy. Some majors are much harder than others. Uh, I'm in the computer science major. It's relatively easy, but there's the law uh, law major. It's it's hard. So just make sure you're up for the challenge. There's a col colonology major. I'm pretty sure, and that's a relatively easy major as well but like the high school experience will be different for everyone i've really enjoyed my three years at bergen tech so far and, and i believe i'll enjoy my senior year as well but at first it could feel you could feel like you're out of place but just try to talk to as many people as well try to interact with your teachers um like the other students and another thing about bergen tech is like especially during your sophomore junior years, try to get to know at least a few teachers, specifically one from English and one from science, because eventually that's going to help you in college applications. You're going to have to ask recommendations from teachers. Try to get, try to get the teachers to know you and try to try your hardest during classes. And I, I think this is obvious, but the classes are going to be really hard. You can take the easy path, but you really want to stand out at these schools and you're gonna have to have a study schedule because if you don't, there's no way you're gonna be able to succeed. You're gonna have to make sure you prioritize your classes over everything else. Classes like are everything at the school you have to study and you, you will do well if you study efficiently and you actually study and make sure you prioritize your classes. And uh, in BT as well, just like Bergen Tech, there's a lot of clubs um, and Wednesdays, there's projects as well, like Mr. Doro said, but um, we don't have the other thing that they do on Wednesdays, but seniors also do have internships. Um, yeah, there's clubs, there's sports, uh, and sports are like an avenue for you to connect with students from other schools. Sports are usually hosted at the BCA campus in Hackensack. So after school, you'd go on a bus and go to BCA. Uh, for example, I played volleyball during my uh, freshman and sophomore years, and I made a lot of friends from BCA as well. And it's good having a connection with them. You learn about what's different in their classes and how in their school environment as well. And sometimes I, I've even asked for help, like with some things that I don't understand from my friends from BCA, and they've helped me. So just try to know as many people as you can, because that will make your high school experience that much more enjoyable. 
and yeah just be social at the beginning it can be hard but that's the main point i want you guys to understand just don't be afraid to talk to other people and learn other people like learn other people's experiences and if you want to succeed being cooperative is the easiest way so just try to work together but during junior year like i said there there will be a lot of competitiveness starting to amp well that's only some students some students won't be as competitive but majority of students will start to become competitive but still just know that like try to enjoy your experience as much as possible uh take each class as a challenge not like a a burden on your shoulders but think of, think of yourself as like uh i'm gonna be able to do this like once you pass uh like an AP class or once you like start succeeding in it, it's the best feeling in the world because you know that you could do it and it's a sense of accomplishment. And there's always going to be challenges, but the more you complete these challenges, your confidence is going to rise and eventually you're just going to feel better as a human being and like challenging yourself is the best way to accomplish this. And school is tough, but really rewarding. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Hey, thank you, Tark. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much, Tark. Nice to see you. <laughs>